All right. Welcome back, dear viewers. Uh, apologize for the week hiatus. I had a uh, minor fever, various illness virus running through me last week. So, But we're back. Session 12 in our uh, foray into the Moat House. Session 12 of Lamentations of Elemental Evil. Um, last session, the party went further into the underground dungeon and um, encountered a rather large party of beastmen, uh, which uh, were quite difficult to uh, take out, but they did, the party did, uh, through some uh, tactics of bottlenecking them in the um, hallway that you can see in on the map just below room 27. Um, as I recall, Hunfried almost went down, but thankfully some of the mm -hmm. healing poultices that you picked up from the Druid of Hamlet uh, were able to uh, sort of heal some of his wounds. Um, I believe also you had encountered uh, a, a um, before coming down into the uh, dungeon, you had encountered a cultist spellcaster and a fungus golem of sorts that um, gave you a little bit of a run for your money indeed the um, cultist used a bizarre magic missile that melted all of the metal objects that Malthus Belfire was carrying so uh, there's definitely some strange magics a foot so we'll begin here but I'm not going to begin with you guys I'm actually going to begin with uh, the new guy um, awesome because um, let's see where is he there he is Christian is he ex cultist <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christian Winslow um, Chris, uh, Mr. Winslow uh, you your character has um presently has find has has been in this dungeon for quite some time hard to t say how much time has passed as there's been no light the beastmen that had captured you and the merchant caravan that you had been part of uh dragged you and a few of the survivors from the attack down here uh apparently they don't need light to see um as because there's been absolutely zero light in the room uh that you've been in you've been in and out of consciousness uh uh bound and uh uh the darkness has uh been punctuated by uh the 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 tortured screams of some of the uh survivors um and one by one their whimpering and 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 cries uh, have uh, uh been reduced um as they're they've been dragged to some section of the room uh and and butchered you know you 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 hear while you can't see it just this blackness you hear the tearing of flesh and the and the and the and the tortured screams that all of a sudden go silent uh and on more than one occasion um you've actually been spattered uh you know your face uh feels like the warm arterial spray of blood uh splashing up against you um on this particular day, um, you know you're the last, and you're just counting down the moments until you'd be the one dragged to wherever and butchered. When you heard your captors, again, you you don't know what they're saying. They speak in this very dark and, and terrifyingly guttural language. Um, you have no idea what they're saying, but you hear them get real quiet. And they're and they're kind of whispering amongst themselves, and then eventually, um, to the uh, you're in room 27. If you you know looking at the screen there, uh, okay. you, uh, a light, you sort of he see a light show kind of start to filter through. And it's the first time you've seen light in God knows how long, and the light sort of uh, that sends uh, sort of starts to kind of filter into this room and you see the center of the room what looks like to be a large stone slab just dripping 
with blood and 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 with gore sort of uh, scattered about where your former compatriots, the merchants, the guards had been butchered, and uh, these six beastmen uh, start slinking down the hall, weapons drawn. Um, eventually, you hear uh, human voices, uh, and indeed uh, uh, a dwarven voice, uh, and a, a battle ensues. And uh, during the course of the battle, uh, uh, you will will say you've been able to free yourself. Okay, and uh, um, just as the battle sort of dies down, um, you you're you you are free. Um, the you know the the rope they had used was uh, old, frayed, tattered, um, and through the dim light, you're able to find your stuff sort of piled in the corner along with some other stuff. Um, and uh, you do hear some voices uh, trickling in down um, to the south through at the other end of the hall. Um, I'm going to say you are from this more wealthier nation. Um, they are, it's called the Kingdom of Verburn, uh, V-E-R-B-Y-R-N. Uh, so you speak that language and the common tongue. The common tongue is like a trade language. Um, but over the course of the fight you've heard a variety of uh it is a very posh nation actually uh very wealthy it's kind of it's think think of it like an oligarchy it's there's no real um uh organized uh national sort of uh titular head it's just a nobles scheming amongst themselves but teaming to up together for the national defense and uh a lot of them i mean their main goal is to make money um to the south of them is uh, a rival nation called the arn kingdom they're very very religious think a combination of medieval judaism and medieval catholicism that's where the clerics come from uh they're very uh missionary focused uh, almost messianic as they're trying to spread the good world word across the land and you even think you hear arn the spoken word of the arn language why don't you make a language roll to see if you um can speak arn arnish i cannot you all like i said you also heard a, a dwarf shout um so let's see if you can speak dwarven I cannot. Okay. And there's also a halfling who was also shouting. And uh, so see if you can speak halfling. No, sir. All right. Well. <laughs> um, speak common, not, though, and not, a burn. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Um, <clears throat> what would you like to do? I mean, you you have your gear. All, it's all there um, amongst other Yeah, things. I would um... I would, after gathering my gear, I would walk slowly towards the echoes of the voice in the hallways. Okay. All right. You guys, uh, the rest of you, um, why don't you... Hey, Dagus, why don't you roll a d6 for me? All right. I'm going to screw this up. Hold on just a second. Well, have a bit more faith in yourself, man. This is how the night's gonna go. Bam, five. Okay, yeah. Um, you guys are um, basically looking around uh, uh, in the aftermath of this fight, making sure there's no one else, um, you know, in the area in the vicinity. I mean, that fight did take a little while, um, and you're tending to uh, Humphrey's wounds, um, and he's, you know. Basically, you're helping him stand up. You do not notice the very uh, well-armed human approaching you. So, Christian Winslow, you have the floor. What would you like to do? They don't seem to notice you. Um, yes, just let me, to be clear, you see uh, three humans, a dwarf, a half. Oh, I'm sorry. Four humans, a dwarf and a halfling. One of the humans is unarmed. He's carrying a torch and a backpack, uh, and he looks wild-eyed, uh, a little pale with fright. But he 
he's he's standing firm and he's just kind of like in awe of this these armored uh adventurers that uh seem to be um you know picking through the bodies of these uh beast men these six beast men and uh but no one seems to notice you at this point yeah I would... go ahead i would clear my throat <clears throat> gentlemen and i'd have my arms in the air uh archivist in one hand showing them that i mean no harm Apologies for creeping up on you like this, but I'm a bit whacked out of it still. And uh thought I was hearing things, but it seems that you're actually here. And I look around still in disbelief a little bit. And you see an older gentleman, gray hair, has on a buff coat, archivist pistol on his hip, sword also, um, blue eyes. Hollow cheeks, sunken in a bit. Scar on the side of his head, stitched up. Name's Christian. Not sure how long I've been down here, but... Uh, seems like my traveling companions were all eaten by these beasts that you just slayed. And we showed them what for then, didn't we? So, I guess he probably has got his rifle laying down to the side and he's tending the wounds to, you know, like shoving Humphrey's guts back in and stuff. <laughs> he oh, got God. Pretty bad. So, pretty you sure know, we're a... covered in blood and look over and like, what the hell? Uh, and the more first bodies, thing I'd do would be, would level a rifle at him and then holler for Malthus to check him. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just for the for the, uh, the the disease. Hopefully, your uh, fingers steady there, friend. And oh, I don't make gotta, any quick moves for sure. I just stay we, like with my arms. We just in the gotta air. see uh, if you're if you're one of them or not. That's all. You just just let uh, our doctor here take a look at you. I, I'm not approaching anybody till they disarm. So I'm just gonna lean on the on the bar ditch a little bit and. Uh, Request you remove your uh, remove your uh, shirt, sir, and turn for me. Turn for me slowly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why do you need him to turn? Oh, well, see, he's got the spouches on the back. Ah, yeah, we're I looking see. for yes, the, mu yes. the the mushroom stuff growing don't, on him. Don't Forgive question me, the that doctor. Was a, that was a rather specific wording. Yeah, he'll set his uh, weapons to the side and undo his buff coat, opening it up. You see that he's ripped to the core, scarred up, though, from many knife fights and back alleys. And he'll turn. And as he turns around, he looks back at you, spinning back around so that you can eye him. Is that good? He don't have nothing on him? Nothing growing yeah. on him? Make a make a spot check. Make sure he hasn't got any of the fungus. And and I'll I'll do like a dismissive hand wave and lean heavy on the on the bar ditch and go. He's fine. He's fine. Well, glad we could be helpful to you. Uh, if you can give us a hand with our friend here, uh, we can go back upstairs and get to our wagon. That'd be nice. He says as he puts back on his buff coat, grabbing his weapons. But they brings is you down completely here. satisfied once we know he ain't got no bug juice on him. <laughs> <laughs> Were you uh, attacked too, or did you chase these beasts down in here? Uh, we've we've worked our way down from the top. You're in you're in the swamp, and then tell him like you know, I don't know where he was going to or from, but you know where we are basically. Right. Yeah, he would know. Um, Christian, you would know um, that you know uh, caravans and, and and merchant wagons and whatnot heading south towards the Iron Kingdom to trade with them have to skirt this area known as the Borderlands, uh, a vast tract of wilderness uh, dotted with uh, you know minor lords and, and villages that uh, really don't have any 
allegiance to any major kingdom. Uh, I mean, they may cl- make claims, but uh, given the w- wild wildness of the land, no one's able able to actually firmly control it. <clears throat> but uh, the borderlands have also have a history uh, in this particular area uh, of a. Uh, uh, of a great evil that had been uh, defeated many generations ago, uh, an alliance among with the Arn, the the, the kingdom of Verburn, and the dwarves of the Cron Hills, uh, uh, defeated an evil that is emanating from this ancient temple, the Temple of Elemental Evil. And recently, there's been a lot of rumors that the temple is reawakening. Um, so you weren't surprised, not really when your uh, caravan was attacked by cultists and beastmen. Um, uh, maybe surprised a little bit. Sad to hear the rumors are true. Um, so uh, uh, you're, you're definitely familiar with that background. Um, and that's pretty much all your character would know. The rumors, okay. the temple. That's about it. There we go. So I guess we're going to drag uh, pull Humphrey to what's your points at right now? You're at three. a little bit over one or something? I'm at three. Alright. I, I suggest probably we try and fall back and rest and I can heal you tomorrow. Indubitably, indubitably my good man. Yes, we shall uh, definitely indulge in a little rest before continuing. And then we come back down. You guys okay with that? And then come back down after these three doors uh, tomorrow? That sounds good. Uh, Mr. Winslow, I'll get my water skin out and pass it over. Grabs it and drinks it. (laughs) Thank you so much. (laughs) Didn't want to be a bird in an ass. No, we've uh, we've got some rations upstairs, too. Passes it back oh, to I you. I got a ration on me. I'll toss it to him. Big, big loaf of bread and some meats. I'll mark that off. Not quite sure how long I've been down here stuffing his face. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's got to be a long time. Yes. In the dark, too. For days, I guess. I can't imagine the psychological, like, I could I could have a roll for sanity. No, I'm just kidding. I, I mean, to, I, I thought you were going to <laughs> to be in a I, I mean, like, to be in the dark and everybody around you just disappearing and hearing them being and getting eaten. eaten. And... It's okay. If he was crazy before he came in, then he's fine. Oh, there you go. you <laughs> 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 fit right in. Hey, that's right. <laughs> we murdered our first village. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Time it was an inn. They were elder abominations. What else were we supposed to do? <laughs> if you haven't oh, watched yeah. the first video, definitely, definitely watch. I forgot the little one. girl. I mean, mimic. Yeah. Uh, yeah well. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you were so lucky. You were literally lucky. You're just like I'm gonna cut her throat. I'm like you haven't even checked. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's dead. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is Lamentations of the Flame Princess. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't have to check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, you guys want to back out now? You what, what would you like to do? I mean, you're basically in the room marked with the 28th there um, at that uh, the northern uh, hallway, essentially, at that entrance. Yeah, I, I think what we were thinking was is if we could back out to the our camp and camp out there, and then in the morning I could heal Unfreed, okay. and we could go back okay. in. Um, were you guys camping in room seven? Or... Uh, you guys want to do that, or do you want to camp in the little place that we had over by the swamp? Side. If we're set up in room seven, we could easily just bar the door and take turns watching. Yeah, I think so too. So yeah, I'm good I think with seven. The door was still there, it had just been removed from its hinges, so we might be able to remount it easily. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it was. The and... donkey's still outside. Yes, and let me. Whoop, wrong one. There we go. And uh, that little uh, stairway, the uh, I 
when I first looked at it, didn't know what it was, but it actually goes up to room seven. So you guys um, do have a secret entrance. Uh, if I can zoom in here for you guys. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, when I first, and this is my, my mistake, I really own up to it. When I first looked at this map, I thought that was just a, the room where uh, some of the treasure was located. I didn't really see that that was a stairway going down. So. Oh, that's okay, because we filled that in anyway, so we didn't ever go down it. <laughs> oh, I see a little little thing there. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah. Honestly, dude, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Or is that how it goes? Something like that. If, oh, yeah, you're forgiven. Are you just fishing for XP? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that worked. Oh, come on, that's not what we're doing, guys. <laughs> we are good guys, we do not mooch XP. But so we still got that blocked up, so we can just go back up, stay in seven, and bolt like bolt that door closed, guard up, and and then the next day we'll open this back up and go down that way. All right. I filled that in with rocks. I do remember that. I do remember that. So let me just. want to take a look at that'll give us a little shortcut to get back down there that's cool okay all right and all right so um you are when you you're gonna go basically up through room uh the room 18 up the stairs that way and then tomorrow morning uh, remove the um, essential, essentially the rock and stone that you filled up to close up that stairwell area, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. we're going to rest up there. We'll go back the other way because we can't go the, well, I mean, I guess we could dig our way out, but we might as well just do that, huh? Unless you want it closed for the night. Dig our way through. Yeah. Okay. Go to 18. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, you guys start making your way up up through 26. Um, through the two, up the stairs, through the two um, secret doors there, and into the room where uh, you had faced off with the um, giant ogreish mutant guy there. And let's have uh, Garth make a d6 roll for me. Oh, boy. Gigantar. One. Oh, you lucky. Okay. So, You're welcome. Um, yep. Well, that's why the halfling rolled, right? Um, <laughs> um, I'm not sure who's in the lead. Uh, but uh, as you're en as you enter that room, um, as soon as like that secret door to the right opens up into room 24. You immediately hear um, some moaning and um, shambling into the light, uh, the edge of the firelight sort of materializing out of the darkness are three rotting corpses making their way to you. And... Um, I'm not going to have you roll initiative because these zombies um, automatically go last. Just give me a second because I uploaded some. Whoop, that's the wrong one. There we go. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. There they are. I like the fast zombies better. <laughs> 28 days later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or like the ones in that, uh, what, that uh, where he was with the dog or whatever. I'm... I'm Legend? <laughs> yeah. I don't think those were exa exactly zombies, but man, they were fast. I like the zombies that use tools. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll make a little... I don't know. Call out and be like, we got, we got three, we got three. 
All right, so what would you guys like to do? Like I said, you will you you you're not surprised, and they're just sort of shambling towards you. I'm with you. I'm gonna pull short bow. Uh, I'm probably did, I didn't have it, so I'd be at minus two. I'm gonna fire an arrow. Save I'll the get, shot. I'll get my crossbow ready. Hey, did I already use my magic missile last session? I don't quite remember, or did I get disrupted? Um. I don't think you did. Uh, yeah, I think I was saving it. So I'm going to just waste it now. So I'm going to blast with a uh, magic missile. Okay. All right. I'll get my uh, crossbow ready. Ooh, drop, drop. Say that again, Guyless. Oh, I was going to say hand axe is going to get to chopping. <laughs> oh, right on. All right. And Christian, what would you like to do? I'm going to pull my pistol out, but I'm going to wait for, I'll probably uh, wait for everybody else to act okay. Work for today. firing. All right. All right. Yeah. So this is going to be short range. Um, we'll just start beginning. Dagus. Yeah, put me up. Minus one. It's not a minus. Minus one. All right. Arrow whizzes by the uh, the first one as it sort of like Pew. starts looming, moving towards you. Malthus. You should have two magic missiles. Oh, buddy, three damage. Okay. All right. Uh, these uh, two uh, screaming skulls, uh, burning skulls, uh, slam into that lead one, and it kind of st the force kind of makes it stagger back a bit, but it, it's still coming. Hunfried. No luck. Okay. And Gylus. Hunfried, I'm sorry, were you moving into melee, or...? Uh, I was using Mr. Crossbow. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gylus, are you there? Uh-oh, did we lose him? I'll come back to him. Garth, go ahead. Uh, pulling up my crossbow, it's a minus two, right? Yep. The fire. I got a plus two, so. All right. Oh, that whistles by as well. Oh no! Wait a minute. Yeah, that that's a miss. Damn. That is a miss. All right, Gylus. Oh, I think we did lose him. Oh, I think he's back. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Looks like my network. Oh, no worries. Yeah, it looks like my network. <laughs> are you uh, moving into melee, or are you going to throw your hand axe? Yeah, I'll just do melee. Okay. Move forward to the lead one there that's already been wounded by some magic. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Oh, that is a hit. I got a modified 16. Ooh. <laughs> One point. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, these um, uh, these particular z zombies that you're uh, now that you're like up close and personal with them, uh, you can see that um, uh, they're covered in that fungal sort of rot, um, and uh, yeah. maybe giving them a little bit of a boost to their overall health. Um, Christian. Yeah, I'm going to fire at one of the zombies that uh, he's not in combat with. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm going to roll my uh, D10 with the die, too, to see if a misfire. Um, 12 to hit, no misfire. 
That is a hit. Five points of damage. All right. Uh, you see uh, one of the uh, – you basically blow uh, the sec the one like – Right past the lead one, uh, you blow its arm off at the shoulder, um, and it kind of staggers back a little bit. But it, you know, being undead, it keeps coming forward. All right, slim shot. All right, the um, one uh, that is engaged with Gylus rolls a thirteen, which I think is a miss. A wild grab I got a, I a and then uh, uh, the one that uh, had its arm blown off also it goes to engage you but it's got a I rolled a six so uh, it's it's um, it, it tries to attack you with its missing arm so it, you just sort of see it like <laughs> move its shoulder in your general direction the other one though kind of saunters and stumbles past you and with a groan attacks uh dagus who's uh typically in the lead so and uh that is a 14 and i think that is a miss as well um yes uh dagus definitely steps to the side as the undead lunges for him all right top of the round what do you guys like to do choppity choppity if i can stay behind another member in the party i will use the party sounds good you can certainly do that i'm going to switch weapons to the axe and parry this round because i got a bunch of minuses already all righty Yep, I'll attack again. Okay. Humphrey, what would you like to do? I'll be reloading my crossbow. Okay. Garth? I'm going to sling the crossbow and pull a mace out. Okay. And Christian? I'm going to holster the pistol and pull out my rapier. Alrighty. Also, before we continue, um, Malphus, you still have the uh, Bardish at the moment, right? Yep. Okay, just checking. All right. Well, let us begin. Okay, so, Dagus, you go into a defensive stance um, to try to hold this thing off. Malthus, why don't you uh, take a swing at the... Yeah, um, set. Malthus set, man. <laughs> do I got uh, a plus... Do I have my minus two to hit, or is it regular where I cast a spell last round? Oh, that's a great question. Um, well, to cast a spell, you have to have your hands free, so arguably you would have had to set the bardage down or lean it up against the wall or something so uh i'm gonna rule that this is sort of like holstering it so or not holstering it, but picking it i would up. just have i would just have the unseen servant hold it my cast as well oh yeah you still have that going don't you um yeah you all i you hmm it is magic um you know what i'm <laughs> not gonna if you if, because you're using your unseen servant to hold the bardage for you um and i just think it's kind of kind of cool to just sort of yes, have you love it kind of you cast a spell and then you just sort of like nonchalantly hold your hand out and then the unseen servant gives it to you so <laughs> so yes I, I won't i won't throw a pe penalty on you on that so go ahead as is the duty of the spellbound spirit slave okay How, however <laughs> if you didn't have your uh spell cast uh your uh, your i'm sorry your 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 unseen slave <laughs> uh, I probably would have uh, put the uh, penalty on you but magic should give you a bonus so go ahead I yeah I got a nine it's uh that's with the plus two so <laughs> <laughs> all right well hey we tried um all right Humphrey's reloading guyless go ahead you got all two right. on you Uh, let's see. I'll, uh, I'll attack the most damaged one, the one with the missing arm. Okay. <laughs> For a uh, <laughs> grand total of six. Okay. Yes. Um, it dodges your attacks like, uh, like a drunken master. Just sort of stumbles out of the way. I hate zombies. <laughs> Stand still. All right, 
Garth. Um, you're pulling out your mace. Are you attacking the one that's in front of um, Dagus, or are you going to assist Gylus? I'm not the one armed one. There's still three, right? Yeah, one is uh, in, is in front of uh, Dagus, um, and then the one armed one and this other wounded one are uh, in, uh, are attacking Gylus. Dagus will be fine. I'll go for the two armed one on. Okay. Gylus. I help him, lad. Yeah, you're fine. Nineteen. Oh, yes, that is a hit. Ooh, good roll. Four damage. Okay. All right. Um, you crack. Uh, what? Sh you basically shatter its knee. Um, and if it was, <laughs> I a... did jump. I jump to his knee. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, if it was a normal man, that would have felled him. But uh, the magic, um, animating. This zombie keeps it going, and it's just sort of like this. Now it's got more of a strange lurch as it's sort of like <laughs> shambling forward. All right, uh, Christian, you have uh, um, drawn your rapier. Are you going to attack the one in front of the dwarf, Dagus? Uh, move in past them uh, to attack one of the other two zombies. Um. No, yeah, I'll, I'll attack the first one. Okay. Uh, two thirteen. That is a miss. I'm gonna actually say your rapier um seems to it finds purchase, but uh, it kind of bends as it hits some some bit of uh, flesh or maybe uh, like hardened flesh, and it just couldn't quite pierce. Gotcha. Okay. All right, Gylus, uh, that is a 13. This one lurches forward. Um, I, th I think you said your... Uh, does a 13 hit? Uh, 14 is my AC. Yes, yeah, you you kind of dodge out of the way. Well, oh, yeah, okay. And Garth, that's going to miss you with a 9. Yeah. And then uh, Dagus, I rolled a 4. So I, you, it misses you as well as they're just sort of stumbling forward and you guys are easily just sort of like sidestep uh, to avoid these things go ahead Dagus what would you like to do all right this round instead of uh, uh, Perry I'm gonna do the defensive so I'll be at minus two total with a plus two AC okay and I'll attack with the axe Right. I'm getting the right channel here. <laughs> 16. That is a hit. <clears throat> For six damage. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, you uh, slice open its abdomen, um, and rotten bowels just sort of spill out all over the floor. Um, uh, like the kneecap, this this would have felled a typical normal human being, but the magic that animates it keeps it going. Malthus. Oh, I'll, I'll attack again and uh, try to hack at the pieces. And at the same time, I'll uh, death blow with my cordage and scoop at the intestines to try to make it trip over its own guts. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Don't fuck with medical school students. They'll fuck your shit right up. Okay. Well, nah, dude, I'm just demented. Um, all right, that will not hit, but I am going to impose a minus two to its attack next attack. 
Um, all right. Um, Hunfried. Yes, sir. I'll be firing again at uh, one of the ones that is still standing. Okay. Well, all there's all three, but all three are engaged in melee combat. Yes. So who would you like to risk hitting? Dang it. Degas. No. <laughs> Don't shoot me. <laughs> Degas, Malthus, and was it Gylus who was also engaged? Uh, it's Gylus, yep. Garth, and uh, uh, Degas. Pardon me. All right. Uh, I probably will not miss this, but uh, I'd like to get your permission first. Uh, who can take a, uh, a D6 of damage of you two? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, you won't hit uh, me, dude. Right. My AC's uh, 18. So. Alright, since I, his I'm at 16. Since AC is 18, I'll just fire at the one that Dagus is fighting. Alright, Dagus, roll a d6. Let me know if you roll a 4 plus. That's not about AC. <laughs> oh, it's not? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope, two. <laughs> okay. Roll the hit. Natural 20. <laughs> Oh, oh God! Okay. Hey, Degas, why don't you roll the d6? Did I hit him? <laughs> did I fucking you hit did. him? You sure did! Not back! Alright, Degas, you take four points of damage as a crossbow bolt sinks into your uh, back shoulder there, uh, on the left side. Yeah, uh, you can just see the utter regret on Humphrey's face right now, just... Ooh, sort it. Okay. Not me! <laughs> Alright, Gylus. <laughs> Alright, uh, That takes me to eight. Let's try again. Oh, we got zombie archers behind us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, they're dead. They all messed up. Okay, that is a hit. I got a 15. Oh, this time I got a 6. Oh, nice. All right. Um, you finish the one that's in front of you. Uh, hacking it to pieces, it falls It falls uh, to the ground. So now you just have this wounded one, one-armed wounded one that's engaged with you and Gareth. Speaking of which, Gareth. Oh, okay. Swing and a mace. Uh, yeah. Three. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> the uh, the zombies holding with its good arm, holding you back. Uh, you know, it's hand on your head, and you're just is it really swinging? Really? And you're swinging your mace, <laughs> and you just can't find purchase. Um, all right, Christian, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna see him. Then my rapier ain't worth a shit on it. I'm gonna put it up and move back. And uh, ready my archivist. But I'm not going to fire. Okay. All right. All right, Garth. Oh, that's a four. And that's another. F well, that would have been a two because I gave it a minus two to attack. Yeah, so the zombies have done nothing this round. They're just swinging and missing, clawing at the. stumbling around. These are not your. Uh, uh, was it uh, Romero type gom uh, zombies at all? These are shambling fools. Cannot do a dang thing to you at this point. <laughs> Top of the round, Dagus. Yeah, they're they're having the kind of round we had the first round. <laughs> all right, so I'm doing the same thing. The defensive fighting. Uh, I'm gonna turn a little bit though. <laughs> to kind of. Uh, put the zombie between me and Humphrey. <laughs> I just rolled a negative one. Oh, God. Oh, for heaven's sake, mankind. I'm still reeling from the arrow shot. Uh... Would you allow me to burn my luck point? I... Should I burn my luck point on you? Because I'm, I feel like I'm jinxing you a bit, sir. <laughs> so I, I should have should have burnt the luck point on that uh, arrow roll. <laughs> I In that done. case, okay. I'll you save it for later. Uh, um, save it, yeah. All right, Malthus. Does somebody kill this thing? Would you? <laughs> I 
that die rule thing hates me. Sometimes I'll, I'll type it out and I got back up so it pops a little message thing up. But I got 16 this time. So. That is a hit. All right. Foe. And, it makes uh, me wonder if you could write a little bitty program that made a little pop up button that you just clicked on and it typed it into the chat for you. All right. The uh, that zombie goes down. Cutting, cutting Twain. All right. Uh, Garth. Just you and this one. Oh, taking a swing with the mace. Oh, 14. Oh, nope. Nope, just missed. Just missed. Still got his hand on my head, that son of a bitch. Yep. All right, Christian Winslow, what would you like to do? Are you going to shoot? Uh, He's engaged in melee with it, right? Yes. Now, I haven't seen uh, one guy just get shot in the back with a bolt. I'm going to... Just wait to see if I get a clear shot. Okay. Uh, you can aim. Uh, yeah, I'll aim. i spend the round aiming. Okay. And this zombie rolls a 14 against you, Garth. No? Miss. That's what I figured. Man. All right. Top of the round. One left. Vegas, what are you doing? I'm just going to charge over there and attack. Go for it. <laughs> My plus two now. Uh, 13. Nope. Nope. Staggered by you as you swing wildly. Malthus. Ooh, is it time to choppy chop again? It is. <laughs> you have to move up, though. <laughs> As I, well, I'm not moving. I got pole arms. You guys. I'll make sure. I know, I... but we moved up. I moved up. You yeah, I just wish... moved up. We're short, though. It's fine. Yeah, that's right. You're short. Do these uh, zombies have interesting faces? I'm oh. curious. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Um, go ahead. Roll damage. Oh, that is enough. that is enough. All right. Yeah, yeah. You slice this thing's uh, head off, and uh, it it drops. Um, interesting faces. Uh, hard to say. I mean, it's covered in that. It's like combination of the mold um, fungal growth that you've uh, uh, been seeing and you know decaying um, you don't want that in your book no not really but I do lock the top of the skull off and see what it's done to the brain matter while we're standing there oh okay I'm gonna take some time to do that while he's doing that what do you guys like to do Commenting about how gross it is. <laughs> <laughs> Were they wearing clothes? Do they have pockets? Do they have pockets? It's a corpse, dude. You can make as many pockets as you want to. I mean, are they like shambling naked? Are they shambling ragged? They're shambling ragged, uh, but uh, if you're going to just loot the bodies, you're not going to find anything. Whoever animated yeah. them already picked pockets clean. So somebody's down here animating still. All right, let's retreat back through uh, 23 here. Let's get out of here. All right. All right, yeah, you're able to get there in the next, like, 20 or so minutes. Back to room 7. Spend some additional time. Uh, putting that door back on and make basically making yourself a camp. And I would say after a couple hours, that is not, well, less than a couple hours. Uh, it's complete. All right. <clears throat> so you are going to rest here for the evening. Um, I'm going to assume, because you guys have been doing this pretty much whenever I ask, uh, as far as watches go, is that going to be in the order of the of what's on the screen there or did you want to change it up i uh, know that's fine um, we can just go straight and watch it straight through just like we have there just for ease of use yep and that i puts, don't know if you see the same it's the uh 
the halfling on middle watch so he can start the biscuits and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, Early. that's a plan. <laughs> all right, all right, very good. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay, let me just roll some encounters here. Oh, okay. Don't say oh. <laughs> <laughs> Old school D and D. If someone doesn't say oh, we're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's right. Like don't, we're, like don't we're wrong. I like my uh, laid back high power game as much as the next guy, but there's got to be that risk of death. Otherwise, we, it's we not want fun. the O after we get done resting. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, first watch, um, Dagus. Roll a d6 for me. Did you say me? Yep. Okay. I lost you there for a second. Uh, two. Oh, man. You are on fire. You just are spotting things left and right. All right. So you're in room seven. Uh, there's a, You have a small little fire going in the fire pit that the... Um, cultists had used uh, everyone's uh doing the best they can to sleep and uh you're just sort of tending the fire when you hear some high-pitched squeaking noises coming from the rubble behind you in that lower right hand corner of the room if you're you know looking at the screen there yes and turning around you see uh what appear to be five sets of uh beady eyes sort of uh reflecting the, the soft firelight, um, uh, you know, popping up in the very nicks and cracks and crannies of, uh, of, the, of the stonework and the collapsed wall there. I very quietly level my arquebus and wake everyone up as I fire at one of the dangling things. Is it my turn already? All right. Well, you guys are <laughs> you're woken up by a, uh, an explosive uh, gunshot. And Wait a minute. If I, if I wake up, can I memorize spells in the morning? Otherwise, I may roll over and go to sleep. Um. Mm. Well, it's just the first watch, right? Like it is. So... Yeah. Yeah, I, I would. That's a great question. Um, I, I'll say that because this is the first watch, you probably still have enough time to get the rest you need to memorize spells in the morning. All right, then I'll wake up screaming, half asleep, waving my pistol loaded. Kind of, <laughs> kind of just like here at the house. <laughs> yeah. Um, Humphrey's going to, like, eyes bulge. Get up. Is it my shift already? Uh, realize but that there's danger about wouldn't it. it oh, wouldn't crap. it be uh, Karen Salo would be on first watch, though? Everybody sees different, I think. It's on what Matt oh, sees. Oh, well, that's true. Okay. <laughs> what I see is Dagus, Malphus, Hunfried, Gylus, Garth, and then Christian in that order. So, yeah. Mine's alphabetical. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, I think we're talking. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the, the, the game screen, not the oh, okay, okay. the chat. Ah, excuse him. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mine's not in that order, but okay. Yeah, but that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll fire at it to wake everybody up and to hopefully scare the daggone thing off. All right, make your roll. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you. The arquebus goes off, uh, and the bullet ricochets off some of the uh, stonework, and it actually sparks as it hits some of the stone. Um, and you see these uh, sets of eyes sort of scatter as these giant rats start to sort of swarm towards the party. All right, the rest of you are um, scrambling to get awake, and um, let you. I'll let you do something, but you'll have, you'll have a minus two as you're like grabbing weapons and doing whatever. Could I just aim? You could just aim if you'd like. Then I choose to just aim. Okay. <laughs> Malthus, would you gonna take a shot? If I can. You 
Uh, you can. Is it a shambler or is it a breather? I had to step away and get my water real fast. Oh, these are giant rats that are swarming towards the party. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. <laughs> I've had this stream. Yeah, I'll shoot them. <laughs> Do I get my plus two, or do this be the, no? Would it be a minus two, or zero? Yes, minus two, uh, because you're sort of like jumping up and grabbing whatever and firing. Eleven. Okay. Um, yeah. No, you get your regular bonus, so it would be zero, right? <clears throat> yeah, zero minus two. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your regular bonus is zero. Never mind. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the guy, the guy waving the pistol has a seven dex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Um. Oh yeah, that is a miss. So, Hudfried, you're aiming. Gylas, what are you doing? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll just uh, drop with my pistol. And so that's uh, uh, minus two, uh, plus one for bonuses, I guess. So a total of minus one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no luck. Okay. And uh, yeah, it is <laughs> two <more> zero. <laughs> Bullets are bouncing all around the room here. And it's, that, <laughs> okay. it's that wild wake up call they got, man. It's got them all jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gareth. How heavy is a giant rat? How heavy is a giant rat? Well, it's kind of... When I think of giant rat, I think of something like a New York City sewer rat that's just survived a long time. So maybe like... Maybe like I don't know. How much is a, like a beaver weigh? Um, is it like a snack or is it like, like a full meal? like 30, 40 pounds, dude. Yeah, I've seen beavers are heavy, sewer. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen river rats down on the Ohio River that were right. new, I'm just gonna, New trail, I'm just gonna, I can get about 40 pounds, and that's like the swamp rats down in Louisiana. Yeah, there you go. Oh. There you go. So that's five yeah. full meals. They're delicious. Nice. I'm going to get okay. my mace out and wait. Those are really off. Based on what a giant rat looked like, because I figured they looked like uh, the R O U S. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're you're not going to attack. You're just going to wait till they get get to you. Yep. Okay. I don't want to get shot. Uh, fair enough. Um, and Christian, I'm going to pull out my rapier and uh, rush one of them. All right, go ahead. Come here, you nasty bastard. Um, 13 minus 2, 11. Okay. Yeah, it uh, it skitters, uh, uh, skitters to the side. And you sort of, like, poke the ground. All right. All right. Well, they are, they are now on top of you. So, let's see. Dagus, I rolled a 20. So oh, that's a hit. All right. Take two points of damage as it bites you in the ankle. Ow, don't disease me. <laughs> and, don't they uh, jinx it? <laughs> um, I need you to make a saving throw versus poison. All right, mine is an eight. And I'm going to roll probably anything but above an 8 to see 1d20. 15. Yay! All right. And um, let's see. Malthus, one is uh, up on top of you, and it lunges at you, but you roll to the side, uh, avoiding it. Um, okay. Hudfried, that is a 19. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think that is a hit. Okay, take e one point of damage and make a saving throw versus poison, please. Or right die. Away, eh, probably, we'll see. <laughs> I hope not. That's, uh, that's probably some gangrene. 
Because that sounds much better. If it happens, it happens. Here we go. I actually made it. Wow. Right on. Nice. Wait. Okay. Wait, no. No, pardon me. I don't goofed. Uh, that was almost an accidental cheat. I My eyes focused on the first one because that's usually poison, but that was paralysis. No, I just missed it by one. I am sick. <laughs> oh, no! Really? I thought... Well, I mean, I could have just not said anything, but that's not... Oh, you're not... right. Yep. I yep. don't... Yep. No, I Yeah, I yep. think it's better to just be honest here. Yeah, he, he Boy, got Well, I got a really got good save. Yes, you did. <laughs> All right, and I rolled a six against... Garth, and I know that's a miss. And then Christian, this last one. Oh, I rolled an 18. Oh, that hits. Alright, take one point of damage and make a save versus poison. Nasty little fucking vermin. You think I had con to that? Um, I don't believe so. Just checking. Yeah, I failed too. Okay. <clears throat> I rolled a 6. Very good. All right. Top of the roll. Let's roll initiative. Uh, Dagus, why don't you make the d6 roll for me? I rolled a four. All right. Let's see. Slash d6. No lower than four. <laughs> nice. All right. Five. What are you guys doing this round? So, uh, Dagus, Malthus... Humphrey, Garth, and Christian have rats basically on them. All right, so I'm going to fight defensively and attack the one in front of me that just bit me, try and crush it with the axe. Okay. I'll draw a dagger if I... Nope, my dagger melted. Never mind. I guess I have to, I'll have to grab the bard. I gave you a dagger. Oh, you did? Yes. Yeah. I won't be able to use the bard each like this, so I'll just grab the dagger I have and jabby jabby. Okay. All right, Hunfried. I'm just gonna fire at one of those rats. Probably the one that bit me. Oh, uh, do you? Well, you're in um, melee combat with this one. I don't. I don't think a uh, your uh, crossbow would be. Um, hmm. Well, I can pull out my longsword and attack it. Could I just try and stomp on it, or is it too big to do that? Oh, yeah, you can make, like, a melee attack. Uh, you know, like a, an unarmed attack, like kicking it or whatever. Yeah, you can do that. Do D3 damage, we'll say. Let's whip out the sword and attack. Okay. Guyless, what were you doing? Uh, let's see, um, we, did we have a uh, fire going? You do. All right, I'm going to see if I can yank out a chunk of burning wood and use that as a club, try to, um, like, wave it around and uh, strike some fear into the into the rats. If they don't retreat from it, I'll just uh, smack one of them. Oh, okay. All whatever, right. whatever the closest one is. So with the, with that one and a hand axe as a, as a dual wield. So. Okay. And Garth? Just going to tap. Oh. Yep. All right. And Christian, you're going to continue working on the one that you're on? Oh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right, well, let's begin with Degas. Go ahead, make your rolls. Oops. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Let's see, it's going to be uh, one uh, d20 minus 2 uh, with the minus 4 and my plus 2 is an 8. A miss. All right. Yeah, this thing is basically striking the ground. Malthus. Nine! <laughs> All right, Hudfried. <laughs> All right, away. All right, Hudfried, roll a ten. We're gonna we're gonna progress and get this. <laughs> oh. oh man! Oh no, we went backwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Guyless. Um, gonna wave it around. I'm gonna say that's gonna cause, um. A more a, a force of morale check, I'll say. Oh, I just lost that into the garbage. Let me 
roll this other d6 here. <laughs> Anything that falls off is the worst possible result in, in our favor. Oh, is that, the is best, that most possible result in our favor? I, I agree with that rule. That's a good rule. Oh, it's in the, that, the hidden rules of the Lamentations uh, supplement guides there. Um, all right, I rolled the three. They're still coming. So um, they are not frightened by the by the fire. They're too hungry. They're too hungry. Um, okay. Garth, go ahead. Uh, also, Mace to the one on me. Okay. Also, uh, grandparents got a snack, so I'm just going to put that in the oven. I'll be right back. Gotcha. All right, buddy. Well, I'll be back in like two or three minutes. Yeah, I'll have a, well, after this fight, we'll do a quick uh, five, ten minute bio break. Eleven. That is a miss. Oh, man. Christian. What the fuck? These armored rats? <laughs> I'm going to skewer this little fucker. Come on. Um, 13? That's... Did you say a 13? Yeah. That is a hit. Come on, no whammies. Big damage. Two points of damage. Two? All right. It squeals in pain, but it is still coming. Aha! All right. Yep, they're still coming. All right. Well, let's start from... When you uh, hit Christian, lunges mm -hmm. at you, I rolled a 16. Your oh, little bastard. bastard bit me again. Take one point of damage. You don't have to make another save. All right, Garth. I rolled a 13. Miss. Humphrey, I rolled an 8. I know that's a miss. Malthus, I rolled a 10. I know that's a miss. And I rolled an 8. Dagus, that is a miss. My gosh. Keep it up, Matt. You're doing good. I know. Yeah, I'm... keep keep going. Struggle's real, man. <laughs> okay, top, <laughs> top of the round. I rolled a 5 for initiative. Garth, get us, man. Oh, shit. Oh. oh Double oh, ominous. Yeah. You got this. All right. it's, go time. it's go time, boys. All right, I'm, uh, go ahead, Dagus. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing again, fight defensively, and uh, try to try to hit this thing with the X. Try to do a side swipe to it so I don't hit the ground. Uh, well, <laughs> it's one worse than last time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you you do hit the ground. Okay, <laughs> Malthus. Okay. Oh, oh. Thwarted by giant rats. Hunfried will get back. This is how we're going. We're going Thwarted down. Rat apocalypse, man. The hell. All right, guy. TPK by rats. <laughs> All right. Oh. With a uh, hand axe and firebrand. Who would you like to assist? You're the only one that doesn't have a rat. Uh, Who's the most damaged? Is it uh, is it Humphrey? Humphrey, yes. Yeah. Humphrey's been wounded okay. pretty badly. Yeah. yeah Where are the dogs? I'll, I'll, I'll attack the rat on him. Oh yeah, you guys have dogs. It could be. <laughs> that could be attacking me. right now, right? <laughs> they they totally could. All right, that is a hit. Guileless yeah, leaping okay. to the defense of Humphrey. If this works with the dice roll, oh, it does. Uh, oh, I don't know which one of them is which. Um, actually, I guess four, so that's probably the hand axe. <laughs> okay, yeah, you come chomping down and the uh, basically cut one right in half, and it squeals in pain. Hudfried. Great hit. Hudfried, uh, the, the, the rat that was uh, pestering you has been defeated by your buddy Gylus there. Pretty shot, old pal. <laughs> Hunfred, what would you like well, to do? do assist? Um, I'm gonna find another rat and try and slice it in half. Okay, who would uh, who would you like to help? Garth, Malthus, or Dagus, or, or Christian? Of course, Christian's got a wounded one in front of him, so it's up to you. Um, accidentally screwed over the dwarf, so let's go for the halflings. Halflings oh, rat. God. No, no. <laughs> Instead of just yelling no, no, say clearly who you do and do not want me to assist. I do not well, want an arrow in my back. This. Do not want an arrow well, in my he back. Is, he is technically small, so um, it's only a one in three chance of hitting him. 
Oh no! And I'm half cover. Well, hold it. Take that back, because you're also targeting another small creature. So never mind. It would still be fifty oh, percent. So, <laughs> so if you're and gonna... if I went over to Gylus's rat. Oh, you can hit me. It's fine. <laughs> Not particularly. Um. All right, I'm firing away. All right. How about you, you old squabby? Ah! Garth, roll a d6. Oh god damn it. Seventeen. If you know what I mean. Humphrey don't miss, dude. Okay, um, what's your armor class, Gareth? Oh, 16. for Pete's sake. 16? <laughs> yeah, roll the d <laughs> Why don't you roll the d6? Yep. <laughs> oh, for my, my own damage. <laughs> once, this is a longsword. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You're attacking with a longsword? Yes, I, I think I oh. mentioned. <laughs> oh. I think I said I took out the... I've got the blades. I'm going to try and swipe another rat. My apologies. My apologies. I thought, I thought he was shooting. <laughs> Not only will I live, so shall Garth. Okay. Oh, thank, oh, right. thank Jesus. <laughs> uh, my my apologies. Okay, go ahead. Roll damage. You you definitely hit with your longsword. Did, did he hit me? No. no. <laughs> All right, two points of damage. All right. The rat is still up, but it is seriously wounded. Not you, fiend. Go ahead, Garth. It's your turn. Oh, nope. Oh, Wags with an at 20. Alright, roll it. He finally scrambles to his feet after the loud noise. Go ahead, roll damage. D6. Uh, yeah, D6. We need some kind of momentum. Woo! Alright, Wags just chomps down at the rat and, and uh, tears it to shreds. Alright, Garth, go ahead. Right, that 14 is, to the rat. That is a hit. Yes. Oh, oh, one damage. It is still up. Very wounded, though. It's limping. And then Christian. Let's see if you can finish. Oh, can again. Um, does a 12 hit? Ah, uh, no. No. Just almost. It sidesteps. Okay, let's see. They've taken some serious damage. All right. Uh, the rats retreat after this uh, round of combat. Uh, bloodied. Uh, half of them are, are down. The remaining are pretty wounded except for one. Let's take a look at those bites. Yes, I'm, gonna... I'm not quite sure I like the redness around the bite mark. <laughs> I get out my bag. Indeed, indeed. All right. Oh. <laughs> I can just see him laying this book, like unrolling this leather, right? And it's just faces, and then he's got these tools in it. <laughs> the faces go on Facebook. <laughs> All right. Um, why don't we take a five minute bio break? And uh, you guys can um, figure out what you guys want to do. Um, I actually have to look up the the disease. The disease. <laughs> um, uh, good old Gary Gygax's uh, game here is not as organized and laid out in the more contemporary <laughs> modern sense which makes things so much easier to find so i'm gonna have to see what i can find uh, see what the disease is here mm -hmm. i might have to make something up um i can check in uh, my digital copy of the dmg if you need oh um i think i f uh, he's just got the should be in rule cyclopedia yeah, I think I might just do that, make a quick reference to that. I, I got my OSC open right now, dude. I had it open earlier. If you want to compare it versus that. Let's see. Um, monsters, monsters. Dragon, invisible stalker. Okay. All right. Hmm. Chance of being infected. Oh, they should have at least a D six days. 
Oh. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, I'll go with this because this is suitably um, lamentations and. Uh. Hudfrey, roll a d6 for me. You don't want to get high or lower? Does it matter? You want to get high. You want to roll real high. Okay. I hope that's not round. Five. Okay. If I need a, to burn a point of luck, then I will. Okay, and um, Christian, roll a d6 for me again. You're going to roll real high. Uh, four. Okay. I think you're rolling onset time. All right, roll another could, 1d6. Could Two. Okay. Very good. All right, um, let's take that bio break. All right, buddy. I'll mute till we get one again. That's what the pins are for. True gamers wear the pins. And you sucks. <laughs> South Park has traumatized me, but I was like, what?
Hey Garth, have you got anything that we could sprinkle along the uh, <clears throat> the rubble there that would keep the rats from wanting to come in, like some kind of weird spice or something? Don't know if he's back yet. Some rodent away. <laughs> we could push the fire up against there if uh, if the holes if they cover a small enough area. Hey, you know what? That's a really good idea. I might might keep ticks out as well. <laughs> So hopefully that was the only tick. <laughs> Those ticks. Yeah, push the fire to that corner and stoke it up. Yeah. Those ticks mean business. They are. They want to sell your blood. I'm worried about our friends. I think maybe we should head home. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to have to amputate. We don't? Let me look at my spell list. I think I might be able to help. Don't worry. I get name level. I'll be able to build you a better body out of spare parts. You will get to serve again. All right, let's go. Now, Kylas, if you had to be reconstituted, would you want to be able to have your brain in a jar above your brow, or you want it covered up with like an actual scalp, maybe a fake fro or something? Uh, I think I think the scalp would be best. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been partial to the rain in the jar. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. I think it would just attract too much attention. <laughs> Got to be low key. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I think everyone's back. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, the rest of the night passes uneventfully, um, unless you guys want to do something real quick before you go back to sleep. Could I move that uh, fire over? I'm gonna reload my pistol. Okay. Could I have our um, Malthus take a look at our bites? You totally. I think he wants to look. I think he's already yeah, got his got uh, implements laid out. <laughs> like he's already uh, cutting your shirt or your pant leg. I get out the piece of charcoal so I can draw where he might need to amputate, and maybe do some extra diagrams on the side of their faces for improvements. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't really believe in that sort of thing. I'm just curious, would you be able to treat any infection that may have occurred? Well, I don't have any leeches, but I'll get right on it, yeah. All right, uh, who would you like to work uh, work on first? We have our volunteers first. That'd be me. All right. Um, Tree. Go ahead and uh, make that roll. I did. I rolled a three. Oh, you rolled a three. I'm sorry, I didn't. That I have a two. Me. I have a two and six turban, so. Okay. Um, sorry, it, sorry about your look. Yeah, um, you're not entirely sure if there's anything you can do. Um, can I? Do I get? A, do I get to add int to that row, or is it just a straight two and six? It is just a straight two and six. But if you were in a sort of like a clean environment, you know, I you know, ideally like a like I don't want to say like a hospital per se, but a, an environment where you know things are you're not you know by firelight in a dungeon somewhere, uh, you can get a plus one to the roll, that sort of thing. Um, uh, 
there's there's ways to sort of finagle some bonuses. Yeah, that germ theory is horseshit. I'm telling you, if you just rub some dung and leeches on that wound, it'll straighten that right up. Yeah, yeah. You think uh, you think he'll? It's uh, it's it's just a little irritated from the fight. That's all. Ah, right, well, who's who's next? <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you, though. The doctor is in, man. I can I can clear it right up. I heard dung and leeches. He might actually be able to help. <laughs> All right. I pull my leg up. Ooh, oh. six. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to force a reroll on that. You can take a look. All right. All right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> By the way, the, the six on the Kurgan is horrible. Terrifying stuff. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Chris should be getting his leg cut off the first day. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, uh, I have four. Again, the dung and the leeches and <laughs> walk, walking it off, he, he should be fine. Um, and I should, we'll, we'll take a, give me a quick digression here. Um Carousella, um, I am using some uh, additional skills, seamanship, uh, something called Kyurgen, uh spellcraft, and then luck. Uh, so you, sh you would have one in six on all of those. Luck can be spent uh, as a reroll uh, once, uh, well, I should say a number of times per game session equal to your rank in it. So you'd be able to do a reroll once per game session. Um but, uh, you know, if you were playing a specialist, you could, you know, increase your luck, inc increase your chirurgen, increase your seamanship, so on and so forth. Um, uh, and I don't know if you're familiar. Yeah, the chirurgen skill is actually derived from Mark Hess's uh, physics skill. It's the exact same thing. I just call it chirurgen for a little bit more flavor. Um, but uh, and that's is very similar to an alternative skill from i think eldrick cock um play test materials uh james called it medicine um chirurgeon's a little bit more fun if you roll a six something terrible happens to the patient so um <laughs> you, you you could kill the patient so i i, I just think i like the risk reward um aspect of it that's why i like using it but anyway if you have any Maybe. questions let me know i will uh be happy to answer any of those so okay cool so um uh thanks to medieval medicine you guys have absolutely no idea what's wrong with your legs <laughs> and uh uh we'll go on all right so the night night progresses uh without further incident uh you guys wake up um i'm gonna say Humphrey and christian you're 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 feeling a little warm mm -hmm. you know warm in the brow um i mean you still have you know your faculties you're still you know there's your there's some burning pain um in your legs where you're bitten uh and the area is definitely red um but uh you're you're able to walk you're still able to think relatively clearly just you're just feeling a little fatigued like maybe you could have slept a little bit longer oh i think we know why we're feeling so rough dear friend i think, think so. you all need to get on a wagon right now and we need to get out of here get you back because i I'm can't afraid, help you i'm afraid so yeah straight to the church of Arn. <laughs> all right the guy's gonna take off Leave the Mo House. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me get the map back. Survived the beastman to be bitten by a fucking rat. <laughs> yeah, Humphrey does a love two hit points and is infected with the Black Plague. It might not be a good idea to risk it further. <laughs> okay, um... Alright, well, well... This morning, I heal Humphrey... Okay. For D6 plus one. Oh, oh shit. For seven. 
You sure you want to leave? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm only at seven hit points, too. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Um, Well, let's... Okay, you guys uh, make your way out of the moat house. Um, For the rest of you, uh, you know, this is... I don't remember how many. I don't know what time, uh, what number of times you've done this. this is like six, seventh time you've con- gone to the moat house, uh, so you're pretty familiar with the surrounding environment. Um, Christian, uh, y- you were knocked unconscious and dragged here, so you're seeing this for the first time. It's a uh, uh, dilapidated, collapsed sort of like fort keep. The upper level has collapsed in on itself um in fact that one large area outside room seven room six is like uh this great hall and it's just littered with broken furniture and and uh ruined tapestries and uh, there's also blood stains on the floor where there's been some fighting um and you're in the middle of this swamp uh so this is sort of you know new to you um and as uh, looking at this map uh, the road that kind of connects to the moat house is really more just a broken uh, uh, old cobblestone and just overgrown with uh, weeds and whatnot. But it's it's serviceable as a road and doesn't and actually helps you move quickly across the map. Um, and like I said, you're kind of in a swampy area. You're able to move about uh, three hexes a day. So I'll just start with the beginning. Dagus, roll a one d six for me. All right, come on, don't roll a one or two. Don't roll a two. Yeah, six. Okay, yeah, the uh, the day passes without incident. Um, you're actually a- able to get out of the swamp. Um, Hunfried and Christian, I need you both to make saves versus poison. Oh boy. Oh man. I can heal somebody again, but I'm going to wait and see what happens here. (laughs) Matched it. I passed. Okay. I think we need to bleed them. We just need to open up some veins and let the foulness flow out. (laughs) Oh, God. I'm certain that you... Well, I can't heal him afterwards. Is Is that a failure there? That is a failure. All right. Uh, lower your constitution by. Uh, hold on one second. Let me roll. Actually. Uh, can we try the Churgan thing first? For. <laughs> I think you already did. Uh, lower your constitution by two. Oh no! Humphrey's dying. Ugh. I assure you, as bad as this looks, my weight was killing me faster. <laughs> that must be why you shot me in the back. It must have been this. You must have already had this disease, man. Whatever it was, messing you up. It's just what's. It's this stuff that's messing him up right now. Oh no! All right, poor Mal- Humphrey. <laughs> I, will say, I will say this, dear Dagus. Even in the worst of times, you've always cheered me up. So I spur the the, the donkeys on and push them. Whoa! You, you guys want to force march it because you can go an extra. Hex, if you do. However, uh, everyone takes, I believe it's a d6 points of damage. Hit points. Oh, God. No. No. Nope. Okay. No, I can't do that. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. For this evening, uh, Malthus, why don't you roll the d6 to see if there's an encounter? I do want to heal myself, though, this day. Well, hold up. We haven't, we, you haven't rested just yet. All right. Oops. Uh, rolled Trying to slip one in, man. Come on. All right. The night passes uneventfully. Morning comes. And uh, you can cast your heal spell if you'd like. I have five back. That puts me up to uh, 12. Okay, Humphrey, roll the d6 for me. No one, Humphrey. No one, Humphrey. Please put pressure on me as well. Oh, dear. Don't go down like some kind of beacon for the undead or something. <laughs> hey. 
All right. Uh, yes, uh, you guys are able to make it to the crossroads there uh, by the end of the day. Okay, Hunfried and Christian, make your saves versus Poison. Holy crap, man. I fought. I failed that one. All right. Oh, you lose four points of con. I fail as well. Oh, you only lost one this time. Okay. All right, guys. I'm really wondering if maybe we need to think about some alternatives here. <laughs> <laughs> Some holistic medicine. It spread, it spread too yeah. much. Can can everybody handle a uh, a push? Yeah. All right, let's push it one time. I, I'm just one person, but we can. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll push. All right. Everybody's wait, got wait, seven wait. hit points, right? At least. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Wouldn't that mean the people with damage con would be taking d6 damage too? Yes. Oh, wait. No, with my oh, con down, yeah. I don't have, yeah. Can we just keep them in the wagon and then everybody else does a force march and they just rest? Oh, excellent question. Let's see. Well, they're going to be jostled a bit. They're not really rest. Uh... I'd say it'd still be difficult. Yeah. I, I mean, because they're they're not resting. They're 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 in a cart that's getting jostled about on this road, um, and it's and it's doubtful they'll actually be able to like sort of sleep, as it were, or even you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not, <clears throat> but that but they're not expending energy either. So they're sweating. How about you know what? I'll, how about this? I'll we'll we'll meet in the middle on this one. Um, instead of taking a D six, it'll be a D four. Well, it's not quite. All the right. Middle, so, but... what is your all's hit points after your con modifiers changed? Um, eight out of thirteen. So I can definitely tank it. All right. So we throw them in the wagon. And we push to try and get them back. Okay. Um, Guyless, why don't you make a D6 roll, see if there's an encounter this evening, and you guys, you guys have decided over the fire to push. All right, the night pa passes uneventfully, and you will reach Hamlet by the end of the day. Okay, let's see. Well... How about we have who's next on the list? Garth, why don't you roll a d6 to see if there's an encounter? Whew. Okay. And I'm rolling both of these together. All right. All right. So those who are not sick take four points of damage, those who are take two. And you roll into Homlet. I pushed the wagon straight to the church. Okay, let me get the map up here for Hamlet. All right. Yeah, so you're coming in from the right side of the map there, passing by the uh, fortress that they're building and the cra uh, the laborers. Um, I need everyone but Christian and Humphrey to make a uh, uh, search check for me, please. Nope. I made mine. Okay. Um, as you are kind of passing by the wooded area where the laborers are camped out, um, you see um, a the same... Oh, actually, yeah, it would be you. Uh, you see the same guy um, that had... Uh, spent some time at the trading post um he's, he kind of like pops up and just has like this look of surprise on his face or not not surprise that's the wrong wrong word like incredulous like he's audibly like if there was like a thought bubble over his head 
I mean, it's pretty obvious. He's like, I can't believe these these guys have come back again. Why won't they die? And uh, he scurries off. He just a full sprint um, crosses the street, goes around the um, the tower there, Mark Thirty One, where Burns Badgers uh, reside, the mercenaries, and he just takes off running. But you guys. Uh, uh, Keep on uh, heading down the trail, uh, past the stonemasons, um, past the blacksmith, up past the village hall, um, past the traders, and uh, the church actually is way the heck up there. Give me a second so I can get it. Yeah, I will um, parse away from the party and head towards the Green Dragon Inn and or the Welcome Witch, uh, I will avoid going and hanging out at the church where they hate my guts. Hmm. Well, you did show them your Facebook, so... Um... They asked. <laughs> the Grove. The Grove. Oh, what's that? What's that, uh, Humphrey? Are you, Wait. You're moaning? Um... He was moaning something, but I remembered uh, Druids are arcane casters in this one. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Never get mine, then. <laughs> All right. So, yes, um, after a few minutes of rolling through town near the end, um, you guys make it to the church. And let me do this and scroll down to my personalities folder here. And bring in everyone's favorite Inquisitor and everyone's favorite missionary. Calmer and Terjan. Um, uh, as you guys uh, reach the church, Calmer is uh, going through uh, sort of like a, an end of the day sort of vigil. And he's in, uh, uh, intoning some um, sort of uh, obscure story of the uh, um, Arn people while they were uh, in captivity um, and, and, and the hopelessness and, as, and the, the eternal night the Arn people felt while in captivity before the first king uh, freed them from slavery and, and brought them to this great place. Um, uh, and uh, uh, he as you come bursting through the doors with your sick compa companions, uh, he kind of stops mid sermon. There's only a few people, uh, present, uh, including what appears to be a young dwarf. Uh, uh, but, uh, he stops and sees you and he's immediately sort of like rushes through the rest of the sermon, like blah, blah, blah. And amen. And, uh, and comes hurrying towards you. Uh, my friends, my friends, uh, what is going on? Um, is everyone everything okay? Uh, this man no. does not look good at all. Say by Arn, they've been they've been poisoned or diseased by wild rodents of unusual size. Oh god! <laughs> Did you see their fangs? Look at the bones. Um, uh, he motions you and uh, towards the back of the church, um, and um, as you guys are kind of rushed into the back, um, uh, a, a few of the people, some of whom you recognize, one of them is like the weaver. Um, you know, they are they look they're astonished uh, to see you, um, uh, and you start hearing some of them. You hear them talking about how you know um, this group must be blessed by the Iron God. Um, as, uh, you know, they're doing such great work, uh, taking on the cultists and, um, and sacrificing themselves, uh, for the good of the people of Hamlet. Um, so even though, even though you've, uh, uh arrived at the church wounded and sickly, um, there, uh, you're, you're still spreading a little bit of hope amongst the people. Uh, of course, Turjan, um, the stern-looking image here, for those who are new, um, he, he's not buying it. He knows you're, up, he, he knows you're mercenaries, uh, but you are um, essentially, you are essentially uh, 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 
have allied yourself with the church and, and have been um, successful thus far in advancing church interests. So he's putting up with you. All right. Um, Calmert will be able to... Just give me a second here. He should be able to because of his level. Yeah, Kurzy's his third little spill. Yeah, he should be able to. So he's casting mass heal, right? Yeah, we need some cure disease, that's for sure. Mm, yes. Um Did you say mass heal? What's that? What level's that one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Calmer uh, goes through, um, basically has you, you know, you're in this back room. He tells you to basically have uh, Humphrey and Christian lay down on these uh, beds, this like little infirmary area where it's like some of the, um, well, if they had a full allotment of priests and aldermen and whatnot, uh, altar boys and whatnot working for the church. This is where they would stay. Um, he has you put them on the, on a bed and he spent basically spends the rest of the evening just attending to them, praying. And, uh, he does cast cure disease, uh, on both Christian and Hunfried. Um, but does indicate that they're going to need some time to rest uh, to recover for uh, some of the damage that has been done to uh, their bodies from this most unholy affliction. Absolutely. Well, definitely. Um, I'll get all uh, donate whatever time I need uh, to the church mm. during this period. So I'll just stay there and help. Um, Calmer certainly... Uh, thanks you for your assistance around uh, the church. Um, but uh, he kind of glances towards the poor box and says, and, and it's, uh, well, uh, your spiritual uh, sacrifice and uh, of time is much appreciated, Dagus. Uh, in these dark times, uh, he glances at the poor box again. Uh, 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 more material sacrifice oh absolutely absolutely i'll have to uh i'll have to go and uh acquire our finances good sir oh of course of course oh, good 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 yes uh yes uh every every little bit helps especially you know considering what we've been doing for you absolutely so what did we bring back this time um let's see Oh, yes, you did. You actually made it back this time. Uh, a lot. Is this the 45 gold pieces, Paul? Yeah. Yep, there was 45 gold pieces. Um, looks like 72 silver pieces in one... Bracelet? Uh, yeah, and then there was a 450 silver piece haul... Four gems, 50 each, and then a gem that's worth 100 silver pieces each. Can we just, you guys want to drop one of them 100 silver piece gems in the offering box and see if that'll... Yes. That's pretty good, I think, for yeah. to cure, uh, to, uh, for what they're doing, I guess, you know? Uh, Calmer gives you a, um, a polite smile and says bless your heart is that like a bless his heart no like, that's okay. that's yeah. one of those one of the things is like go fuck yourself that's what that is <laughs> no, it's, it's all an inflection that, that can mean a number of things like 12 or 13 different things up there i'd have to see his face to be 100 percent sure <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe we should drop another uh, another gym in there or something. Drop another, uh, what do we got? We got four. We want to drop one or two of the 50 we'll silver people. two of them in there. One free. All right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Do we already get XP for those for getting them back you, to town? Uh, yes, you will get XP for them. For getting them back to town. All right. I think it's worth it to save our friends. So we'll drop two 100 silver piece gems in the, in the four box. 
All right. Yeah, yeah. It's good to stay on these guys' good side. Uh, in case, in case we need to kill this again. All right. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Um, okay, so um, recovering loss. Uh, Constitution. I had gone over this a little while ago, and um, oh, I think it's going to take quite some time. Ability score loss. Uh, let's see. Is it a change? Cause All right, that doesn't cover. All right, there it is. Um, oh, you re you recover one point of ability score per day of complete bed rest. So, um, I think you guys are going to need at least uh, five days. I think. All right. Acceptable. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take we'll take five days, and we'll get like uh, we used to. I think I can cast a tech magic, can I? Or some you can, right? What are you asking, uh, Malthus? Yeah, yeah. Well, I can cast a tech evil. <laughs> uh, can you cast a tech magic, Malthus? Actually, I'm trying to find my little spell book I put on the index card. <laughs> No, I can't. Read Magic Mindy. I did a five magic this one scene. And I did pick up some spells off that wizard we killed, but uh, I haven't transferred those in my book yet because I'm Poe and um, it did not have the tech magic in either. How much do you need to transfer those? Or how much um, time do you need? Uh, I'd have to we double got check. five days. Well, I gotta. I'm waiting on other stuff too, man. So. Oh, I got. I got you. I mean, I'm close to leveling. If I leveling, the second level spell takes precedent over copying a first or second level spell. Yeah, I you're got you. you're waiting on other metal stuff, right? And I'm also yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm waiting on the metal stuff because I have <laughs> pistols ordered. <laughs> My beautiful pistols. It's a good thing he didn't heat metal those, right? I'd cry. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful dragon pistols. So what do you guys want to do? You want to wait for Malthus's pistols to come in and then we'll head back out? Dude, I, I need another 300 silver to get those pistols. So if we got 300 silver, that's awesome. We did. Yeah, let's, uh, well, I help you if you don't have enough. Um, just to let you know, it looks like, uh, well, you gave up 150 silver, so that's six. Um, you would have 600. Oh gosh, math. Um, 672 silver pieces plus the 45 gold pieces, which is uh, times 50 for silver in this game, which is. Phew, why did I give you that? Uh, <laughs> 2,250 is that what that is? 2,250 silver pieces. Yeah. So All right, yeah, let's you, do XP. You have enough. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to drop the 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 Tarask on Ham Hamlet right now. Um, <laughs> I got enough to get to third level. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you definitely. Yeah, that was quite the haul. All right, so yeah, so actually in hand you have the 672 silver pieces plus the 45 gold pieces. Um, in terms of XP, if you want me to ward it now, um, I'm happy to do so. Um, yeah, I figure since we're waiting five days, we might as well uh, cash this stuff in, pay off Malthus's debt, and see what we can do. Um, 3082... That's 514 each. That's just from the treasure. 
And then the uh, creatures you killed. Give me a moment. Three zombies and five half hit die rats that was were actually giving you a run for your money. No judgment, just mm. saying. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we knew. Damn, they <laughs> killed me. <laughs> uh, so it's just another two hundred divided by. Uh, so that's another 34 each. So that's a total of, oh, wow, 550 even. It's 100 nice. for showing up. Oh, yes, plus the 100 for showing up. And um, I always give an extra 50 for the being good sports and role-playing. So that's Plus 100 for showing up last week when you weren't here. Uh, we're, we're not going <laughs> 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 so to. That puts me at 5,256, <laughs> level 3. So, yeah. So, a total, I mean, if you include the 150 that I give you for showing up and role-playing, so that's a total of 700 experience points at this point. Be kindly. You're welcome. Um, all right. Um, so while that's going on at the at the church, Malthus Crap. headed on out to the Welcome Winch. Let me see, where is he? There he is. Osler, the barkeep. Um, is there anything you'd like to do while you're at the Welcome Winch? Yeah, I'm going to eat, bathe, and then hit the hit the bed because I didn't level. <laughs> okay. What's your total? Uh, I've got 4235. 42. Wow. It should be at like 52. Right, and then what you guys got? One, but I missed a I missed a day or two. Have I forgotten to write something down? Because I don't think I've missed a session. Yet. Tanner, what's your total? My total, um, my total is currently with the our new gain forty seven forty two. So maybe mine's I'm off by a bunch here. I should be the same. Well, you should be at 47, 42. Is that what you're at, Malthus? No, I'm at 42. You should be at 47. At least, yeah. I think I misadded some numbers just a minute ago. I think I still leveled up, though. And I rolled trashy for hit points, as usual. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, Degas... Um... You are easily the toughest dwarf in my 30 plus years of gaming. <laughs> mm. well, I've got 19 hit points now, <laughs> at least. Um, Out right. of like 36. Okay. Um, Malthus, why don't you roll a. Let's see. Right. A D twenty for me, please. Shouldn't be much longer. One sec, fellas. Keep the going. lucky thirteen. All right. Um, while you uh, spend some time having dinner at uh, the Welcome Wench, you overhear uh, some. Uh, of the locals uh, discussing rumors and, and whatnot. And uh, one of them uh, says that uh, he's, he swears that he's heard from some of the hunters in the area, the 
trappers, the rangers, uh, that there is a uh, orc warlord amassing an army in the Kron Hills to the north. Uh, and, and he curses the, um, the temple. He blames the temple for attracting such evil. Um, and he hopes that the rumor is not true. I, I, uh, I jot that down on the back of some of that uh, superl crap I got off the evil wizard. I pull out a pen and just write it down. Now, does the does the inn have a snug, like one of those little tiny corners where you where you can be kind of out of sight? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I will always gravitate towards a snug if I can get in a little corner. Yeah. Uh, in fact, Osler has, if you want, he can actually give you a private room to dine. It's got its own uh, small fireplace. No, no, I, I look him dead in the eye and go, no, I enjoy listening to the peasants talk. It's, it's pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, okay, well, um, a, at the end of the five days, uh, Christian and Hunfried will be at full... Um, constitution uh, your pistols will be in and in fact a uh, a local boy Malthus uh, you know paid by the traders will let you know that uh, Gramog and Ranos Davil uh, have something for you at uh, at their shop at the trading post right, so after we split our money up I will go buy my Beautiful pistols, and give my old pistol to Davis. Well, that got melted. Oh, yeah, that's right, it did. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Oops. was you. The only session you missed, DJ, was the one that I played your character, and you came in. So I think somewhere along the line, you've missed your XP add-on. Okay. You should have leveled. Yeah. Well, I'll throw that at the mercy of the dungeon master. Should I award myself the 47? They say I should be equal at, or just suck it up with the 42 I've actually written down. Um, let me go through, because um, if you actually were there, your character should have gotten EXP for that session, minus the 100 for not being present. Yeah, so I'd put him in like 46, 42 then. Yeah. But so, he showed up though, right? Like mid-session? Oh, well then then, then you would have gotten that 100. Alright. I probably scribbled it down on a note card and not applied it, but I don't know. Because I'm kind of a slob sometimes. It's alright. Well, we'll figure it out. I mean, if you've, if you've leveled, you've leveled. I mean, I'm not gonna... I mean, I'm... How do I want to put this? I don't want to be the bookkeeper, but at the same time, like we have this wonderful thing called technology, so everything I've war I've awarded is there. I mean, we could just go through and add it up um, and figure it out. So that, uh, I might do that. That's I'll what we do because I don't want to screw you. Um, uh, Ranos, Davil, and Gramag, uh, they're friendly, but they're actually more cold than usual. Um, they're, it's pretty obvious they're, um, disappointed that you're still alive, that you're actually able to pick up the weapon, that, the weapons that you ordered, but they honored the deal and, uh, they bid you a good day. And, uh, with that, uh, we'll end tonight's session and, uh, next session you guys will head back out, I'm, I'm assuming. Head back out to the moat house to continue clearing it out. Did, did we ever head up and check out that treasure map we had? And the, would that correlate to the, where people are talking about the orc warlord? Oh, good question. Um, let, let me see. Um, I did update the player map. Just give me a second. Ah, but for some reason, uh, the player map did not get updated in OBS. 
Okay, well, wonderful. I'll have to fix that. Um, y you have not followed up on that, but it is... Um, uh, I think I put it in Discord. So, um, as far as where the Orc Warlord was or would be, you don't know. That much I can tell you. It's not like someone, you know, pulled out a map and said... This is where I think he is. This is where, you know, I heard. They just heard there's something amassing in the in the Cron Hills to the north. There, let me bring that map up just so you can kind of see. So, Homlet to the north of the Cron Hills. And uh, I'll upload uh, the, the new map. I don't know why it didn't get uploaded into OBS. That's weird. I'll have to figure that out. Um, and then I'll also send it in Discord. Okay? Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. I'll stop the recording now.